For the man who prides in bringing Valentine's Day to Uganda, you would expect his 14th of February to be celebrated more than his birthday. Celebrating the day of love was the last thing on his mind. The man who sensitized Ugandans about Valentine's Day over 20 years ago is today a very lonely figure. The pastor, businessman, radio personality and also a member of parliament for Busiro South says this year's Valentine's Day will be quite lonely as his family is in the USA. My wife is not here. Um, there's certainly a lot of temptations all around the place. Married to Juliet, Sematimba says he will keep in church to keep out of temptation on Valentine's Day. I'll express my love with God <laughs> at 77 Dogs at Miracle Center. Jeez, yeah, it's pretty lonely when people are enjoying love and you created the day and, and, you, and you're a very passionate person like I am, but I'm too busy, we're doing so much parliamentary, important parliamentary work right now, I can't travel. Uh, my wife couldn't travel because she's taking care of our kids and so, yeah, it's, uh, I think I'll go to church. I'll, I'll make sure I have a good meal, a nice drink, enjoy myself, but um, I must probably go to church to keep out of trouble. Interestingly, this year Ash Wednesday coincided with Valentine's Day. However, the father of Uganda's Valentine's culture urges men not to use this as an excuse for not celebrating the love day. Uh, the fact that Lent starts today is not an excuse to not give, to give out gifts, guys. Not at all. It's no excuse at all. Because you're not fasting from giving out gifts. So give out the gifts of love, the gifts of passion. After all, the whole Lent season is part of the whole relationship of God with man through Jesus Christ. And it's all about love. And Valentine's is about love. So express that love. Ladies too have been told to not only be in the spirit of expecting, but also show affection by giving gifts. To date, Valentine's Day, February 14th, has become a popular day for many lovers, donning the day's theme colors of black and red, many flocking hangouts, exchanging gifts such as flowers and chocolates, as well as making love commitments to each other. Passion is universal, like I said, and therefore, um, it's very easy to localize if you want to. I mean, for example, in the US, um, the favorite meal for lovers when they're together is, is actually chocolate. It's actually chocolate. You know, so it's all about expressing love and passion your way. The outspoken radio love doctor still urges more people to celebrate Valentine's Day, especially those in romantic relationships are known to pay ear to any religious leaders who look at the day as sinful. For those of you that are with your lovers, man, I wish you hot, a very hot, very passionate Valentine's Day where you really express your love um, with responsibility and maturity so well that you get drunk with it and make a decision to live the rest of your lives like that. I do wish you that. Remember, there's nothing to be ashamed about passion. Passion was created by God. There's no one more passionate than God. That's why he created passion. And so enjoy it. Delve into it and enjoy it. But enjoy it responsibly. So while the father of Uganda's Valentine beats happy love day to everyone, he will be keeping away from what he termed as misbehaving. Mm -hmm.